Hello everyone, are you ready for another fucking adventure? It's me, Wokey here, back with some fake Grand Order and the uh, Summer Racing Festival. So here's the situation. Ishtar said she wants to have a race. A bunch of women went on a race, including some men, but all the main uh, driving forces of them are women because they're in swimsuits. Anyway, we were racing, everything was fine, then we got ca captured by a Celtic queen, and now we're trying to escape her jail, and then now we're meeting a man with many faces. And I previously started recording this, and like a bleeming idiot, I forgot to check to see if my damn mic was on. So all of that is lost forever like memories in the rain. So we're going to start right here in media res. Um, and of course I'm keeping my team to only um, units who are actually in the death race. There we go. And I'll be doing the voice acting for every single one of them. So I hope you enjoy it, but I understand if you don't. Phantom of Infinite Faces. <laughs> so you want me to, to disguise myself as Medib and trick the lucha lady into turning off the prison field, huh? Okay. Wow, that was easy. That is what it means to be a Viak. What the fuck? What kind of word is that? A Zayak. A soldier of fortune. Thanks for agreeing to help us so readily. This is going to push my voice acting to the limits. And by the way, I... Sh I I'm shitty with all these voices, but there's so many characters that I'm just gonna try and do a voice for every single one of them. The Buddha has long taught us to help others. When you do something nice for others, something nice comes back to you. This is the whole basis of one good turn deserves another, you know? Oh yeah, I bet it is. That's totally why I agreed. Huh? How come you're cracking your knuckles like that? It's almost like you're getting ready for a fight. I never said I'd help you fall for nothing. If you want a gangster like me to take out a villain, you gotta at least buy me a drink. But since you're a monk, we're all in a prison and there's no alcohol to go around. I want you guys to join me in something else I can enjoy. Oh. I may be able to become anyone else, but it also means I'm not careful. I might end up forgetting who I am. So that's why I want to mix it up a bit with all of you in this form. You don't mind, right? Come on, let's do it. Besides, I'm totally satisfied with our earlier duels. I still haven't done anything close to what you're truly capable of. Especially you. I want to see more of that weird spinning top move. I bet it'd be a big hit with the kids if I learned it myself, you know. You'd be surprised how important it is for someone like me to be popular with the ki- What? You wish to mix it up with us? Let's do it. Uh, you listen to me? On top of such crude words, you do not wear a shirt, and you're covered in tattoos, yet I'm certain now- Yes, I'm certain now. You are a delinquent. A scantily clad delinquent. Unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable. This won't do at all. I am the prefect, and I will not let this transgression stand. Transgression. If Master or Kintoki were to go around imitating your unwholesome way of life, I don't know what I would do. Your offense is different than those who are wearing swimsuits, but no less grave. We shall begin with a lecture. Go sit in the corner right now. I'm not gonna. I, mean, I have decided to just switch back to normal. It's gonna kill my voice, and I need to actually talk during these battles. So enjoyed uh, what was basically me doing a cowboy accent for an Asian man because I wasn't sure how to do an Asian accent and if that would be okay. So I decided not to do it. Ah, whatever. My normal voice is perfectly fine, right? You don't need anything else. I assume. Otherwise, why the hell would you be here? I actually don't know why you're here. I assume to enjoy some fake Grand Order. So let's hope you're here to enjoy some fake Grand Order. Fiend with infinite faces. I I actually have to try against you. Let's see. There we go. Let's see how this goes. Ah. Here's the other thing that I'm afraid of, is that um, if I'm doing voices, I'm going to go so low that you're not going to be able to hear me at all. So, you know. It's nice in concept, but if I can't yell, it's hard for me to do it. It's hard to do anything when there's not someone here, like Zen or something, for me to bounce this off of. Otherwise, it's just me and I'm here in the silence and the heat. Speak to one damn song. Come here, me off. That's what you get. To the 
Ah, you piece of shit. That's fine. Please be, um... That's less fine. Okay, perfect. And this should kill him in one go. Oh man, she took all the crits. That sucks. Freaking greedy ass riders. Always taking every single crit star they can. Eat the Buddha fist. Special fist in the background. This guy's super fucking dead. Battle finish. Oh god, please don't give me any more assassins. I'm currently at a deficient. Not that's not the word for it. I'm at a wrong number because I forgot to do them last week, so I'm fixing my number so I have a perfect zero. So I don't need any more assassins to fight. Well, today I learned that even servants can get pins and needles from sitting in a corner for too long. Ow, 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 ow. Now that you've learned your lesson, make sure you start dressing appropriately and keep the attitude of yours in check. Remember, I am always watching. Well, I can't exactly change how I live my life. But I'll at least try. I'll at least try to. Dress as appropriately as possible in front of your kids. Or maybe I'll throw... I'll even try showing up. Oh, what the hell? Try showing up as you next time. I bet you're not really gonna start forbidding yourself from dressing like that anytime soon. Anyway, it looks like we're all on the same page now. Of all the tunnels we've been digging, it should be easy to make a route to the giant statue in the court route, courtyard, too. We could show you the way there, but once we arrive, we're all on our own. Make sure you're convincing when you try to trick Quetzalcoatl. She may be extremely cheerful, but she's also incredibly shrewd. Hey, come on now. Who do you think I am? There's no way in the world I can't become old, young, male, female. I can even turn myself into a headless wolf knight if I want. I might be a, a Yukio whose nature makes it easy to confuse him with the Mirage, but that's exactly why I've been got to hang on to what pride I have left. My name is Phantom of Infinite Phases. As far as I'm concerned, even the queen of this whole country is just another face for me. So don't you worry, I'll use the I'll use the real queen's face, voice, and charm to make sure the job gets done. All right, I trust him. That sounds like a bad idea, but whatever. No battles. That means it's all voice. Fun. Okay, I made it to the statue's feet. Now where's the entrance? Aha, uh -huh. you got it. All right, here goes nothing. Are you sure this is going to work? His disguises are certainly amazing, but I worry he's a little too rash. Uh, we'll just have to trust him. He definitely sounded pretty confident in his chances, so we'd better come. He'd better come through for us. It'd be a real pain if he let slip to the actual meta or Quetzalcoatl what it, what it is we're up to. But I guess there's nothing we can do about it now. But wait to see what happens. Okay, I'm high up enough now that I should be able to find- Aha! There it is. There must be the barrier's control device. Now then. Hmm. Well, this is a surprise, yes. And there's the goddess. Not that, uh, not that I was expecting otherwise. Hola! ¿Qué pasa, jefe? It's so rare to see you up here. Looks like she's none the wiser. Way to go, me. Of course, if I couldn't pull this off, I could never show my real face again. Hehehe. <laughs> Just had a bit of an idea. A little something to ensure the future of this prison. No, this very country will be bright for years to come. I see. And what's that? In a word? Environmentalism. That's right. These days, it's all about saving the planet. We need to cut away back on our energy and resource usage. I realize now that that's the key to taking Konak to even greater heights. So I figure I'd start by rethinking how we use the prison field, seeing how it's easily the biggest energy hog in this whole prison. And since you're the vice warden and all, I thought I'd save you some trouble and come here and tell you in person. As I step number one of Konak's brand new environmental policy, I'm ordering you to shut down this prison field. 
I'll even give you the honor of adjusting the control device settings yourself. As a goddess, you will take the first historic step into a new era of Konax history. Huh? No gracias. <gasps> I mean, that because that caused a lot of more problems than it'd solve, no? The prisoners would just walk right out of here. They would still haven't learned how to be good people yet, let alone the ways of Lucha. We have so many longtime prisoners who needs a reformation, to say nothing of the new arrivals. I have every faith in your ability to capture these wayward criminals. Which is why I don't understand why you would want to go and free them now. Well crap, this isn't gonna go well. Alright, let's try the next big best thing. <laughs> good, good point. I guess turning the whole thing off at once would be going a little too far no matter how much energy consumption it would save us. In that case, how about just turning it down to half strength? That would lead to the same thing, no? As you know, Warden, the security of the prison depends almost completely upon the prison field. In consequence, if we lower the prison field strength by half, that would double the chances of prisoners escaping. That doesn't sound like a very good idea to me. Damn it. Why'd you have to go and get all reasonable on me? What a freaking pain. If I mess this up, I'll be, it'll all be on me. Why does this damn queen have to have such a crappy charisma skill? However... I could certainly agree with your wish to cut down on energy use. That is very important, so instead of reducing the barrier safe, why don't we cut its range in half? Its range? See, I think there's a part of the barrier that is a, very, that is a big waste of the moment. We would shut off the entire underground section without losing anything of importance. After all, the prisoners are in their cells most of the time. They only really go outside for exercise. So it's an incredible waste to keep extending the barrier all the way to into the ground. I mean, it's not as though there are any prisoners digging their way through the dirt like moles, right? Right. Okay, let's do, let's do that then. Excellent work finding a compromise, Vice Warden. Thank you. Okay, then, let's put our new energy saving plan into action. Oh, but first, would you mind if I asked you a favor, too? It's not fair only taking one side after all, is it? Oh, shit. She had my number my whole time. What? What happens next? Tell me. No answer solved. Okay, I think that's it. It's about 12 minutes worth of stuff. If you want to figure out what actually happens to this, you should actually just play uh, Fake Grand Order and actually do this event. It's a pretty fun event. Some people are saying it's boring. I think those people are crazy or um, saber lovers, so who knows. It sounds like they got bad taste as far as I'm concerned. Just kidding. If you don't like it, it's fine. But uh, it's pretty fun, I say. I would say I like it way more than Summer summer one because summer two just turned into like this really shitty like here's a bunch of hogs yay so until next time until whatever next uh video i decide to do i'll see you all in the next episode next episode what am i fucking dr dre no sorry i'll see you next time leave a like if you liked it and goodbye everyone